welcome to Lucas Learns. Today we're talking about the sea turtle. Isn't it an interesting creature? This is a craft we made. This is my stuffed animal. And this is the diagram we made of a loggerhead sea turtle. The sea turtle is a marine reptile. It has flippers instead of feet. Sea turtles have to have air to breathe, but they can hold their breath for a long time. The sea turtles live in the water their whole life, except for the females who come onto the beach to lay their eggs. There are seven different types of sea turtle. The loggerhead, the green, the hawksbill, of the olive ridley, the Kemp's ridley, the leatherback, the flatback. The leatherback has longitudinal stripes along its back and it has a soft shell. It's, e it's the easiest to identify. The leatherback is the biggest of the sea turtles, except the loggerhead is the biggest of the hard-shelled sea turtles. The flatback hangs out off the coast of Australia. The green sea turtle is mostly vegetarian, but sometimes it eats jellyfish. A loggerhead can get the length of 35 inches. It can weigh 150 to 300 pounds. There has been a loggerhead spotted that's a thousand pounds. The loggerhead got its name because people thought its head looked like a log floating in the water. The loggerhead has a big head and, and the biggest head of all the sea turtles. The loggerhead is a carnivore. It lives in every sea except for the most frigid seas. It has a really strong jaw. It eats jellyfish, crab, and other shellfish, fish, and sometimes seaweed. The way that you tell sea turtles apart is because they're shelled. It's called a carapace. Each sea turtle has a unique pattern on their carapace. Each one of these shapes on a sea turtle's carapace is called a scoot, just like a scoot on a scooter. Let's take a look at this drawing. These are the vertebral scoots, just like vertebrae. And these are the costal scoots. The costal scoots have a matching pair on each side of the vertebral scoots. The scoots around the perimeter are called the marginal scoots. But the one, this one right here, is called the nuchal scoot. The nuchal scoot is right next to the middle of the neck. My turtle's pattern looks more like a hawk's bill than a loggerhead. The hawk's bill turtle has a really cool and pretty chill. That's why a lot of people are poaching it. Now it's endangered. So if you say, see any sea turtle jewelry, don't buy it. So how babies are born. How the babies are born is the mom comes up on the beach, and lays about 110 eggs. They have a special tooth that they hatch out of the eggs. And then they hatch and try to crawl through the water. survival rate isn't very good. 
What's threatening the lives of sea turtles? Poaching, boat propellers, um, building up a house or a city where they have nests, shrimp trawling nets, and other animals. So that's it about sea turtles. I think they're awesome. I just want to take a second to thank you for watching my videos. My first goal is to get to 100 subscribers. My second goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers. My third goal is to get 100 to 100 1,000 subscribers. And my fourth goal is to get to infinity subscribers. I hope you learned something about a sea turtle. Write comments below if you learned something new. And I almost forgot to tell you, they, they cry salty tears. The females do once on the beach, not because they're sad, but because they drink salt water in the sea. All right, this is Lucas's mom, and we're gonna teach you how to do the sea turtle craft. So for supplies, you need some paint. We use tempera paint, um, a pencil, scissors, construction paper, and I use parchment paper for ease of cleanup. You're gonna get a brown and a green, and you're gonna cut them your best shape to look like a sea turtle shell. And on the brown, you're gonna paint with green. And so I let him mix up blue and yellow to kind of understand the secondary colors. And then just let him print with his fingertips, palms, and just make a pattern. My inspiration for this is Eric Carle. He uses all those um, patterned papers and then cuts them up to make different cool looking animals. So do that and then give it your best shot. Trace some legs and arms. You can see there that it's not exact science. And then you're gonna use brown and you're gonna print on the green. And I actually wish I used a better color brown. It's kind of boring and drab, but it worked. So then just let them print all over the green, all over the head and the arms, and then go and do some research and look what turtle you want to do. So ours looks more like a hawk's bill, but you could cut out a pattern of any turtle's carapace and it's really interesting because you do a lot of research and they really understand that each turtle is different. So then let them cut. I think it's really important for their developmental um, needs to learn how to use scissors. So let them do that and then let them glue it all together and there you go. You have a sea turtle. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share. Bye.